Local artisan foods, French toast bites, they're a popular street food treat here in Philly. Mm -hmm. I got a chance to try them out a couple years ago for an Alex around town. Remember when they had the Piazza yes. Broad Park? Well, now this treat has made its way into Philly's beer scene, like literally into Philly's beer scene through a collaboration with Yard's Brewing Company. Do we dip it, French toast, into the beer, or is it beer that tastes like French toast? <laughs> Well, I don't know, Mike. We can find out in a minute, right. man. When I found out that Sharice McGill uh, had busted out a new beer, I, I love the woman, but I, I almost knocked her over trying to get over here to it because uh, this is a woman that's taken a thing that we all like, as Alex said, the French Toast Bites. Uh, it's original, delicious Philly street food, and she's turned it into things like French Toast Bites coffee, French Toast Bites milkshakes, twist my arm, and this <laughs> new uh, French Toast Bites beer. And my understanding is that you are the first uh, black woman in the state of Pennsylvania to have such a thing. Uh, you tell us about it while I try it. Oh, okay, no, no, no problem. <laughs> Help yourself to it. So we have our French Toast Bites. You know, three years ago, I launched this business right outside of City Hall at the annual Christmas Village Market. It was a hit. Because you know Philly will tell you if they like something or not. Yeah, they will. And Philly's been rocking with me. So that <laughs> kind of fuel and energy just encouraged me to get into some other fields, especially during the pandemic when we were forced to pivot and think of like, the way we do business. So through that, we took this street food, French Toast Bites, and we're in the streets. I'm talking Cherry Street Pier, yeah. Spruce Street Harbor Park, Christmas Village, Made in America, <laughs> Roots Picnic. We're in the streets, okay? So we took this street food and made it a beer. Well, uh, made it a coffee. Now, I've got a, a good mouthful of that going, and you could have just put out a good beer, and it probably would have been good enough and people would have liked it, but mm -hmm. I taste the French toast in the beer, and that's a strange thing to be doing, but somehow it works. What was the process of getting this uh, out of your mind mm -hmm. and onto the grocery store shelves? And it will be uh, on the grocery store shelves at places like Acme, GoPuff. Tell us about that. Well, Yards did a great job at taking the spirit of the bites, taking the flavor profile, cinnamon, brown sugar, French vanilla, all that stuff, making it the same color as our bites. They were particular about how they wanted to do this. We went through a couple of renditions and I think we nailed it with this one. It doesn't hit you too strong on the front. No aftertaste, anytime now. Well, Brunch, it, it absolutely is delicious. Anytime's a good point because they're open here on Cherry Street Pier today as I have some of this bacon and you can get some <laughs> today. Uh, <laughs> noon to 10 o'clock and it's Friday night. Sue tells us it's going to be an unbelievable weekend. What a right. better thing to be doing on a Riverside Walk than coming down here after dinner and getting yourself some French Toast Bites and washing them down with some French Toast Bites mm -hmm. beer. Um, talk to me about the pandemic a little bit because this kicked everybody in the hip really good and hard right. and you're no exception. We had the we partner. Oh, 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 oh my goodness, that's a fun room. That's a fault. Fault. I'm gonna eat it anyway. <laughs> we had to partner and pivot our way through the pandemic. So we found Bean to Bean Coffee, you know, through our relationship with St. Joseph's University. We found Yards because our first rendition of the beer sold out in days. I needed to find a partner that could keep up with demand. This all happened during the pandemic. Our relationship with the Delaware River, you know, being the first black woman to have a food uh, business at Spruce Street Harbor Park. The city went nuts and just rallied behind what we were doing. They took the spirit and just ran with it, and they embody it too. So we're here. Well, it's we're unbelievable. Cooking. I tell you, it's the spirit of the hustle that this woman <laughs> embodies. I'm telling you what, these French toast bites are deep fried, and you're not going to eat just one. You eat one, you're going to come back for more uh -huh. and put them away. Guys, they're right down here at the Cherry Street Pier. Uh, come on down and pay them a visit today. They'll be here up until 10 o'clock. Come on down. Enjoy yourself. There's a lot to get to. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy for her success. Mm -hmm. yes. She's just so great.